Can you tell that it's insanely hot out today? So naturally, I'm talking about how to survive hot yoga. Hot yoga is a great way to detoxify the body. It also heats up your muscles, allowing you to achieve a deeper stretch. But if you go into hot yoga blind for the first time, you might never go back. So I've got some tips to help get you started. If you've made the decision to try hot yoga for the first time, make sure that you go to some regular unheated classes first. If you go to your first time class and it's also a hot class, you could be a little overwhelmed. If you know that you're going to hot yoga during the day, you need to make sure to plan accordingly. You want to drink water throughout the day and stay hydrated. You also want to make sure to eat throughout the day. Just avoid eating anything right before your class. The next key to enjoying hot yoga is having the right equipment. So first off, you want to make sure to wear the right clothes. You're going to be sweating even when you're sitting still. So wear something that you know you will be comfortable sweating in. Next up, you want to make sure that you bring a mat and two towels. One small towel to wipe your face and anything else throughout the practice, and one larger towel that you can lie down on your mat, and that way you'll avoid slipping during your practice. There's one thing that you never want to go into a hot class without, a huge water bottle. Make sure that you bring a water bottle to class. And although you'll be tempted to bring ice cold water, lukewarm water is actually better as it will avoid shocking your body. This is probably my most important tip. Don't push yourself too hard. You need to put your ego aside and make sure that you keep yourself safe. If you feel sick, nauseous, overwhelmed, you need to make sure to sit down and take some time out. And don't worry, everybody does it at some time. You can thank me later for this tip when you don't have to walk home sweaty and disgusting. Make sure to bring an extra pair of clothes. And think of it like this, if you wouldn't want to put it on right when you got out of the shower, you're not going to want to put it on after hot yoga. And nothing too tight, aka no jeans. Because you're detoxifying so much in hot yoga, your sweat can often smell stronger than normal sweat. This means that you're going to want to throw your hot yoga clothes in the wash right when you get home. But if not, just rinse them out in cool water, and that way they won't stink up your room until you have time to wash them. You also want to make sure to just give your mat a nice wipe down once you're done hot yoga. Most studios have a spot where you can do this, but if not, don't worry. You can do it at home. Grab a spray bottle, fill it with water, and just add a few drops of either tea tree oil or another natural cleaner. I hope that these tips can help you keep your mind on your yoga practice and not on how gross and sweaty you are. So good luck in the hot room, and until next time, you can visit me on Twitter, Facebook. You can also check out my blog and my yoga inspiration boards on Pinterest. Don't forget to subscribe to Coral. Have a great day.